Hey everybody, welcome to part three of my greenhouse build. Today I'm going to be working on the front and back of the greenhouse. And what I'm doing here is I just have a 2x4 and I scribed a line in the center of it. And I'm putting my miter saw at 22 and a half degrees. And I'm cutting basically a point on the end of the 2x4. I need uh, two of these for the front and back support sections here. I could use a stop block, but I don't know, I only needed two, so I just, just freehanded it. And you know what, it worked out okay. All right, now I have my Shopsmith in table saw mode, and I'm going to be using some half-inch plywood to make some homemade gussets. And here I am ripping, and apparently I don't notice my roller stand on the end there getting caught, and of course I knock it over. Way to go, Andrew. Those roller stands kind of bother me because they don't actually, they can tilt, so they're always tilted a little bit, it seems, and they catch on my wood. Anyway, so you need a lot of gussets for this project. You can use metal gussets, or you can make your own using plywood. I decided to make my own. I guess it's a little bit cheaper, plus... I've never made a gusset before, so it'll probably be pretty good to learn. So all we're doing is taking half-inch plywood here, and we're ripping it into pretty wide strips. And there we go, I knocked over the other one. Okay, so now we have those half-inch plywood strips I cut on the table saw, and I'm scribing a center line in the middle of it. And I'm setting my miter saw at 22 and a half degrees. And now, again, I'm just kind of eyeballing a point on the end of it. And we set the miter saw back to 90. And I actually did this already with um, a template, basically, a template gusset. And I'm just overlapping the point, and I'm just scribing the uh, straight 90 degree line there, just to make things a little bit easier for me so I don't have to measure with a tape measure or anything. I just slap the template on, line it up at the point, and scribe a line, and we make our cut. Now, I'm going to have to do this a bunch more times, so having the little template is pretty handy and makes this go by a lot faster. And there's our gusset. Not bad. Now, in addition to those gussets, we need a second pair of gussets in this rectangular shape. So all I'm doing is setting my miter saw to 22 and a half degrees again, cutting both ends, setting the saw back to 90, and then using the stop block to cut it at a predetermined length at a 90 degree there. So we need quite a few of these. So again, here we go. Set it to 22 and a half, cut both ends, set it to 90, use the stop block, and keep on rolling. Again, you can really see the stop box speeds this up greatly. And after making a bunch of cuts, we get all the pieces we need. Time for a little uh, gusset dance. <laughs> so I've laid out the front of our greenhouse on the ground. You can see the door frame there, as well as the pieces we cut for the front truss on the ground as well, just so I know where everything goes together. We're using our half inch rectangular gussets that we just made, and we're using an inch and five eighths deck screws and type on two to glue everything together. Now, multiple times to this part, you'll see me kind of adjust the miters to make sure everything's kind of square and going together nice, because one wrong move could knock everything out of alignment. Now we have our, uh, I guess, pentagon shaped gussets, and we're again using our inch and five eighths deck screws and wood glue to glue everything together nice and tight. So each two by four that the gusset overlaps is gonna get anywhere from three to five screws, depending on how much uh, wood there is. And these gussets, with that glue and those screws, are really going to add a lot of strength to this whole structure. Once we're done the front truss, we're going to do the back. I didn't record myself doing that because it's going to be kind of boring, but it's a lot easier than the front one because there's no door in the back of the greenhouse. But what we're going to do is we're going to build the front and back separately from the front and back of the frame so we can attach it all together when we actually raise the greenhouse up. So with the front, back, walls, and the front and back truss is done, we can finally start to put together the greenhouse. Thanks for watching part three, everybody. If you like what you saw, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for part four.